after finally waking my lady self up from bed. I just say a short prayer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just thank God for the gift of life for my family, my friends, and for waking up in a peaceful nation. Then I thank him for the body of Christ. And then I ask him for grace to stay in the center of his will for my life that day. It's just about 10 to 15 minutes because I would have already prayed at midnight. Then I just move on with my activities for the day. Um, after laying my bed, which I don't do every single day, I just turn on my Bluetooth speaker and then I either play a sermon, my audio Bible, or just any worship song I really want to listen to. There's never a moment that nothing is playing in my house. Good morning, I trust you are all doing well by God's grace. I just woke up about 30 minutes ago. Normally, after I've like done all of this, I go and work out. Let me reduce daddy. <laughs> so, yes, normally when I'm done doing all of this, I go and work out like a short workout. Like, I've not said this on the channel, but I'm trying to maintain my weight or lose some but yeah i want to lose weight i want to lose weight not so much but a specific part that i really want to lose weight at. i've been practicing intermittent fasting for two months now yes two months not exactly two months but almost two months now um so normally when i wake up what i do is i go and work out just some short session i'm not going to show it here so maybe i'll just show like just a short Part of it, but I just go and do some um, squats, push ups, and a few things. Like just basic stuff. Quarantine, so Qu what is it? Is it quarantine or quarantine? I've been watching videos and I hear people say quarantine. Moving forward, let's go and prepare my potion for my weight loss. It's not like a potion for weight loss, but it's like something that helps to kickstart my body. So the magic potion is infused ginger water and depending on whether I exercise that day or not, I add ACV, that's apple cider vinegar and lemon, like natural lemon juice and the infused ginger water is most of the time cold so I just have to reheat just the portion of juice and then I add the rest of it. So once I take it, it just makes me start to sweat instantly. Then I just change into my gear for working out and I just go and exercise, which is one of the most stressful things of my day to day life. By the time I'm done, I'll be sweating and then I'll probably go for a walk or I pick out weeds in front of my house. Yes, so <laughs> there are a lot of weeds, so every day I spend like probably 10 minutes. I pull out some and then I go back inside. This is what <laughs> the bag I do, like please, nobody should say anything. I, as you can see, like I take some out. This was yesterday's one, so I'll take it probably from that side to where the tar is. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my shower. And then I'll probably take some food. I changed into a shredded shirt I put. I've not worn it. I've had it for like I don't know, like almost five years and I've not worn it before. And I just did by this wet pants that I own. So yes, then I'm going to like just clean my face. So 
so for my face i use this handmade cream it has this because it was for projects work we made in school but i made the content so i use that for my face it's just shea butter and um some other things i mixed for my face i've not been creaming for like five years and i finally decided to take care of my whole self that's part of the reason why i'm losing weight but there's a whole story behind it so if you like to hear the story please um let me know in the comment section i'm like willing to talk about it so if you like to know just leave it in the comment section and if i get like at least five people saying oh we're going to hear i'm going to talk about it so yeah what i do is i pour just a little on my face because i don't like to sweat where is it going to After this, I build God's beautiful black creation. This is like all I do. I just use this for my, I just use cream for my face. I just use cream for my face. Yeah, so I don't really cream the rest of my body unless I'm going out because I don't like it. So, yes. And I'll go and get like fruits to eat. And then I'll listen to the preaching. Like I said, I'll take care of my spirit for some time. Then I'll to go and eat like later in the day, probably like. 11 12 ish because that's when that's when i'll have my break for eating enjoy god's beautiful christian find me all the words because i cannot hide myself again <laughs> i finished eating my fruit what i do is I would listen to one of the preachings from my spiritual father, Prophet Nanasri. I listened to him for about one hour, two hours, a little, but then maybe I would play my um, audio Bible for a while. So today, I think I'm going to listen to a sermon by entitled Faith and Fear. So I'll try and insert a snippet of it. Um, there's a pen drive, this particular one. Let me show you. There's a pen drive. It has like a number of his preachings, like 30 plus. And it will be good if you get it. So I would send you the link to the page, the website, so that you contact them if you want it. It's about 50 CDs. Then there are some for about 100 CDs. Then depends on the number of sermons that will be on it. And there's also CDs which cost about 10 CDs or less. So in dollars, that will be just about 10 dollars. 10 to 20 dollars for a lot of spirit filled sermons that bless your spirit. So, you have to understand how the law works. Even the devil can give people money to take them to hell. Most of the people he has empowered, he has done that to deny them from coming to Christ. So, Satan can give you money to make sure he takes you to hell. He cannot create, he can only destroy. The devil cannot create, he cannot also do good. If it appears like he has, give, he has done you good, expect a terrible thing after the good. If the devil give you an in tomorrow, you come for a yard. In fact, from Genesis all the way to the book of Malachi, we, we know that he did that and that. But only Jesus came and said that his assignment is three. He steals, he destroys, and he kills. So anytime the devil is even giving you money, it's in the context of this three. I said, be Life update. It's 6.15 p.m. Can you believe I'm not eating today? Like, I've just taken the pineapple and apple. What did I say? I've just taken the pineapple. Oh, I've just taken the apple and banana that I took earlier. I've been talking to two of my best friends, my closest friends ever. They are the closest to me, my female close friend and my male close friend. So I spoke to my female close friend earlier for like three to four hours. Then afterwards, I spoke to my male best friend Kelvin. I didn't, for some reason, it didn't cross my mind to film. But close to the end of the conversation with Kelvin, I just was like, oh girl, film it. So I got a little like bit of it. Anyway. So like it's a clot of blood. Chill. Chill. Is that no, you don't need to go. It's a clot of blood, boy. What? You know that I'm recording you. Can you say anything? 
<laughs> you feel what? I feel cheated. Like it's going live on YouTube. Love you. Now say bye, Boozy. Bye bye. Oh, so when we talk? Ten twelve. Okay. Why do you always call me at midnight? I don't understand. And I'm just going to get something to eat. Today has not been like my typical day because I've not done like the stuff I normally do. But yeah, it's just how my day went down. I hope you all had like nicer and like way better days. Mine will come before yours arrive. Tell the person. Everybody is saying it, so the rest depends on fate. I'm like a little bit fucked up just because of this. <laughs> it's um 7:40. Every moment of my life, I'm actually like there's always something playing in the background. If it's not playing in the bedroom, then it's playing in the hall. Like every moment of my life, something must be playing somewhere. So by the time I've seen this, I've already gone live on YouTube. And the only thing I would probably do is now reply messages and reply mails and try to read. I'll, I have to read the Bible again. I have to do some little studies. When God speaks, always make sure that you verify with scripture. It doesn't matter what type of voice it is, verify with scripture. God is bound by His word, He's bound to His word. He doesn't change. And His nature is one, and that nature is the nature that's shown in the word of God. So, yes, He spoke to me about something. I have to go and search through scripture. He mentioned something that's supposed to be in the book of Chronicles and it's supposed to be in other words there too. I'm going to search for that and listen to Apostle Joshua Selman because I've not listened to him the whole day. I desire the mantle upon his life and upon Prophet Nana say I desire their mantle so every single day I listen to them at least one hour, two hours each I listen to them consciously listen to them that's one way to get impartation though but i'm not doing necessarily because of impartation they just have like a lot of wisdom god gave me wisdom that i desire so i listen to them 
just so that I get wiser. And for now, this is the end of this vlog. Thank you for sticking with me. It's 7 40. I'm going to edit right away as I listen to my friend Anna say. And God willing, later I'll post this video. So I hope you're having a good time. Please stay safe. Be at home. Plead the blood over your life. Plead the blood of Jesus. And cover your family, cover your friends. Um, get in with the Holy Spirit. Know the mind of God in this season. There are certain things that God would reveal to us, or He didn't say to me. There are certain things God has revealed to me even concerning this virus, but I dare not come and say them out here. If I meet you one on one, I don't mind telling you, but putting it on the internet, my life is at stake. And there's a time and season for everything, so yes, yeah, stay shut in with the Holy Spirit because there are a lot of things He wants to say and let you know concerning this virus. And that's all. And don't make me have to be surprised because you've never seen me like this before, like in my day to day living. So, if you enjoyed this vlog, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be so glad. It will be very encouraging so that I can do more. God be with you and God keep you all. You'll be safe. We'll come out of this and scarred in Jesus' name. Bye. Bye. Good night. Pray before you sleep. Pray before you sleep. Bye.